hello everyone in our last period we discussed about how schumacher talks about the total social time and how it has lessened nowadays the total productivity of the people it has happened just because of technology and excess use of technology he also talks about various crises that human beings nowadays and in future may face uh, because of the use of technology now uh, he gives the he, uh, he proves the same idea by giving cost of, by giving uh, quotes of different people on the same point now it might be said that this is a romantic or utopian vision true enough what we have today in modern industrial society is not romantic and certainly not utopian as we have it right here but it is very it is a very deep trouble and hold no promise of survival because now we are living in a society which is not at all utopian not even it is romantic one here we don't have any kind of uh, uh, any kind of surety that we will survive the thresh three fold crisis of which i have spoken will not go away if we simply carry on as before it would become worse and end in disaster means if we carry on using more technology and if we carry on uh, uh, ignoring the nature ignoring the nature then definitely there will be problems for all of us and uh, again he says that here again a writer says na that now it is indeed a tall order not because a new lifestyle to meet these critical requirements and facts is impossible to conceive but because the present consumer society is like a drug addict who no matter how miserable he may feel finds it extremely difficult to get off the hook means we are now have become addict to the current society uh, is has become addict to the uh, use of technology little bit if we get uh, rid of it we later later fail to have the same thing in our life so uh, this is quite impossible or uh, quite difficult for all of us to go away from the technology as the writer says and again he says that it is almost like a provid- providential blessing that we the rich countries have found in our heart at least to consider that the third world and to try to mitigate its poverty in spite of the mixture of motives and persistence of explorative practices i think that this fairly recent development in outlook of rich is honorable one and it could save us for poverty of poorers makes it in case of impossible them successfully to adopt our technology of course they often try to do so and they have to bear the more dire consequences in terms of mass unemployment mass migration into cities rural decay and intolerable social tensions so as uh, the all rich countries have uh, have the technology when we try to give them to the poor country they may face the problems of mass unemployment mass migration into cities and rural decay so this uh, application of technology in underdeveloped country may be uh, dangerous or risky for them